Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about my weed addiction and how I overcame it. And this is, uh, I want to do this because it is uh, relevant to who I am as an artist and the music that I make and the message that I put out. Uh, so this is mostly for those that like my music and are paying attention to the lyrics. So that tells, uh, gives a bit of context to who I am and why I make the music that I make. So I started to, I didn't start. I, s I had my first joint when I was about 17. And uh, it was with friends. We just, um, I just tried for the first time like a few, few tokes. And it was actually hashish. It wasn't uh, weed difference. And uh, actually the first time it didn't really hit me that much. So that was interesting. But then I don't know how much later it was, uh, maybe a few months after, again with friends. I remember the first time when it really hit me and it was pretty funny because, I don't know, I was with a good friend of mine and we had a huge laugh about the whole experience, how we were feeling. Anyway, so at first that was really um, interesting, like it was a funny, fun experience, enjoyable. Um, but then this was when I was about 17 and then later when I went to England to study music, so I'm from Portugal, I went to England to study music. Uh, that's when the addiction really developed because, uh, well, I had more freedom. I was with myself all of the time and studying in music school, I mean, that was ubiquitous. It was everywhere, weed, mostly weed in England. And, and so, and really strong stuff. So I started to smoke pretty much almost, well, weekly, uh, not every day because of, I didn't have a lot of money, but eventually it it became like a, a daily thing and the problem that i saw no i didn't really see this as a problem actually at the time but looking back the problem that i saw was that the attention that i was giving to it was greater than the attention that i was giving to the music to myself to learning the guitar so i see that my focus was m mainly in the experience that I was having while under the influence. Also because I think um, it was a new country, everything was new to me, I didn't speak English very well, just well enough to develop it to a good standard and to you know, speak with people and to understand the lessons. Um, but it was quite foreign and then the friends that I, the, fr the good friendships that I developed there, they were also smoking. So it became really, you know, something that I would do almost every day. And, and the focus wasn't really about learning the instrument and learning music and becoming better at music. It was mainly about the experience that I had under the influence of weed. And which is that point of relaxation of everything is fine. But underneath it all, things weren't really fine because um, I actually felt, looking at my other colleagues, my other uh, music, musical friends, that many or most of them were much better than me. And that really didn't motivate me a lot to become better. And um, so the weed was a point of sort of hiding that experience that I had. Um, but over the years, I started to realize that I had to, to stop it. Um, also because of the things that I was discovering uh, about myself, about life, about how the mind functions and how, how we can, how we actually trapped in thought patterns and habits and emotions and feelings that if we do not become the directive principle of our life, then these things will, will be what will dictate how our life will develop. So I was pretty trapped in that point of being addicted to the experience of weed where everything was okay or seemingly okay. And um, yeah, it wasn't very good. 
uh, although it was good but it wasn't so i wanted to to stop and for many years uh, i i tried to stop meaning that i would i would smoke for a period of time and then i say no this is the last time and then i would stop for a day or two a week a month three months i think that's the maximum that i remember uh, being without smoking but i would always go back to it eventually just like one more time just this and and so that that was the the cycle that i was for many years until july 2011 when i know that was the last time that i smoked and and from that point on my life became better because when when you smoke with the point is it gives you an experience that apparently everything is okay it gives you a high so if it's giving you a high it, it must mean that you are in a low the point is I did not have that as a distraction anymore I could not use that as a point of not looking at myself and my life and who I had become so look I'm not against any drugs the only thing I am against is against things that limit our potential and I have seen that weed has done that for me for many people will be alcohol other drugs also weed entertainment television whatever i mean those are things that also participated social media all these things that become addictive experiences it, they do not actually support us to become the best that we can be they limit our abilities our gifts the gifts that we have been given by life let's say so I'm not against any drugs, but I am against that everything that limits us. It could be even friends, it could be family members, it could be... So you have to figure out what are those things and you have to find ways to not allow those things to influence you. That's my point with this. So, um, weed from, if I consider it, could be supportive if you do it like once every few months and from that experience that weed will bring you to uh, you can you can see what sort of thoughts and ideas that can bring you and you don't even need to smoke the whole thing you can just take a few tokes and that will be enough to get your mind going and then you can what i would suggest is actually write you write whatever comes in that moment so that you can then look back and see, okay, this is how I have to um, correct myself. Because that, that's my experience. I, would, um, I could smoke a joint and I would have ideas, realizations, whatever. But the point is, if it's just an idea, if it's just there on the paper and you don't apply it, you're actually ruining your self-trust. You, you, cannot, <laughs> you cannot trust that point of smoking and then use that knowledge that the plant has given you quote unquote to support you you don't you, you don't want to waste that opportunity so taking drugs can be supportive in, in well certain drugs certain environments certain people certain conditions and so that you use it as a as a great as a gateway to see what is within you that you have to look at to then correct without any influence of anything so, I mean, there's even studies that look at how people with depression will take MDMA, which is ecstasy, and mushrooms and ayahuasca. So, it's the whole point of taking that experience, what that can show you, so that you can go out and live and correct yourself based on those realizations. So, that's how I would contextualize a supportive and functional way of utilizing drugs. Like a bridge to that potential that you have but if you're using drugs just to get the experience and then nothing changes in your life that's fucked up and that's why i stopped because that was the the experiences that i was having with weed which is i was just stuck i was just on the experience and that was it and my life was pff, miserable um so eventually i stopped smoking weed i derailed a lot but anyway let's get back to this so eventually i stopped smoking weed and i could see how my life was and i could see how i had to actually change things for real like in my behavior in my 
thinking in how I was allowing certain emotions to take hold of me and limit my application. So that's pretty much my story with weed and why I would suggest everyone that smokes weed to look at what sort of relationship you have with it and why are you smoking it? Is it really something that supports you? Are you really taking that as a moment of relaxation that you might do once a week or once every few months or socially very occasionally or is it really or has it really become a problem where you do it every day all day or or once a day let's say but as a way to escape the day the things that you went through the thoughts that you have um, I mean, it's your life. <laughs> you do whatever you want. I'm just suggesting because I know that once you start to look in at yourself um, and you start to take responsibility for how your life is and how you want to change it, that it is possible to change things and it is possible for your life to improve. But you have to be responsible. You have to take that responsibility. You have to take, make that decision and actually apply yourself Physically, in, in, in the here, now, in this moment, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And in time, it accumulates and you, you will be able to look back and see, wow, I have changed. These things have, I've, I was on a path and I decided to take a different route. And, and now I'm in a better position than if I were to continue on that path. Um, so this is my story, short story about weed. I mean, for me, it was so draining those years that I was constantly doing it and just, I, you know, I write a lot uh, on a notebook or on the computer, mostly on the notebook and, and some t and I've been writing for many years since I went to England, actually in 2005 but main mostly from 2008 onwards so from 2008 to 2011 i have lots of writings and i can i can look back and see like how how desperate i was with wanting to stop weed i just see it in the writing i it's like today i smoked fuck again next day i'm gonna stop today i stopped but the thought came and oh shit i did it again and I mean, it's pages and pages and pages of this, <laughs> but eventually um, I stopped. If you want to know more about how I stopped, I think I'll, I'm going to have another channel or I have another channel where I'm going to be sharing more these points that are related to how I've been changing myself and transforming. So it's not directly related with the music, which is this channel, um, but it's more about who I am and how, how I have become who I have become today and why I do all of this stuff. All right, I hope this was interesting and possibly supportive. Um, if you want help, uh, send me a message and I'll try to be helpful. All right, see you next time.